Hey guys, thought I'd do one more video on the 10 minute amp. Um, this is the 10 minute amp. If you haven't seen the video for that, go and watch that one where I assemble it. It's just a little do it yourself uh, amp, seven watts, simple to put together. Um, and um, you can get the kits from my store, etc., etc. You'll see more about that in the other video if you're interested in that. So, uh, in this video, this is the final video for the 10 minute amp. From I don't think I've got any other topics I want to cover for this. Um, so, this will be the last one. And um, I just wanted to um, demonstrate. So, so in the in the 10 minute amp video, I plugged up the 10 minute amp to uh, my Bad Cat speaker, which is obviously an expensive 12 inch speaker. Not everyone's going to have that around. So, I just wanted to demonstrate what it would sound like through something that's, that's a bit more common that you might just have lying around your home. And that would be a little bookshelf speaker like this one. Um, you've probably got one lying around. I think uh, you know in your garage or whatever that you could use. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure, a four inch, but by, by the look of it, from just by by sighting it, it looks about like it would be about a four inch speaker. So I'm going to um, play a couple of sound samples um, just through this speaker, just so you can hear what you'd get, what sort what sort of sound you get from something small like this. Even through this small speaker, it is very loud. You can crank the hell out of it. Um, it could be. It could be cranked up so much that it would annoy my neighbours just through this tiny little speaker. You don't need a 12 inch speaker and if you're just trying to build something for yourself or you want to build like a little a little uh, speaker that you can take away on when you go to on a camp or something like that, this is the perfect sort of project for that. I'll go through um, how to hook it up to a bookshelf speaker in a moment. There's a couple of little tricks you have to do, nothing complicated, but um, I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that.
keeping my expectations in check, I think that sounds pretty impressive. It's just a little bookshelf speaker, um, you have to remember. It's not been designed to play um, guitar frequencies through and, um, and uh, for the purpose that we're using it for. Um, so yeah, I think it sounds excellent, really. So now I'll just show you how to actually hook it up. There's just one, mainly just one little trick that you have to be aware of. And to do that, all I did was I just chopped this wire, um, the black wire. Because if you look inside, you might be able to see that the black and the red wire are actually going to the loudspeaker. So I'm just trying to isolate the loudspeaker from this circuit, but also to isolate the loudspeaker, uh, sorry, the guitar signal um, from the 10 minute amp from the tweeter as well, because you don't want you don't want that tweeter um, uh, outputting any any um, any of your guitar signal. It'll sound rubbish. You only need this speaker. So all you're just trying to do is just isolate that speaker from the circuitry and the tweeter on the front. And for that, like I said, all I had to do was just chop the black one because the red and the black one were connected to the PCB down here. So I just chopped the black one just to isolate it and um, disconnected one to here and then connected uh, one of the one of the outputs from the 10 minute amp. To the to the black wire and the other one I just connected directly onto the um, PCB there you can see which connects to the red one so you're just trying to connect I mean I could have cut that as well but I just figured save cutting another wire I'll just connect it straight to the PCB there so there's nothing overly complicated about that you just want to bypass whatever circuitry you've got in the bookshelf speaker and any other little speakers that might be connected to it particularly tweeters they sound rubbish and you don't want to you want you don't want to have them um, outputting your guitar signal um, so just go directly into the loudspeaker and you should be fine. And that's pretty much it for the th for the 10 minute amp videos that I wanted to talk about for now. Maybe some others in the future, but that's it for now. I want to thank everybody for who bought a 10 minute amp. Um, you support me, support the store, so keep help keep the, sh the show on the road. And I hope you like the video too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. See you guys.